to the big story of the day, President Obama's tax deal, a major blow to the Democratic Party. A compromise is a philosophical win for Republicans, surely. Isn't this a defeat for Obamanomics? Isn't it the death of Obamanomics? Congressman Jason, Jason Chaffetz joins us. He's from Utah, Republican. And I want to put that question to you. Uh, Congressman, I never thought I'd see the day when this particular president argued forcibly to extend all of the Bush tax cuts, even for the rich. I put it to you, Congressman, Obamanomics is dead. Well, listen, uh, both sides have given up on a lot on this. Uh, there are things that the Republicans don't like about this that are not very palatable to me. But I think in the, it's the true sense of compromise. And there's a lot to like about it, but there's a lot to dislike about it. So I, I don't know, though, about the House Democrats. I don't know that they're going to be able to swallow this Now, one. come on, Congressman. Look, philosophically, you so. won, didn't you? You won hands down. Do the victory lap and tell me, do you think Obamanomics is dead? Well, I think it's, it was dead on arrival because the principles were wrong to start from. But I'm not ready to take a victory lap yet. First of all, I haven't even seen the piece of legislation. We, see, we saw a press conference and, and a press release. I'm worried that there's going to be a whole bunch of other things that are larded onto this. So uh, we got to be really careful until we actually get to that vote. Do you think that significant changes will be attempted? I, I understand that Senator Reid is considering changing the rules of the estate tax agreement section. Um, could you live with, with changes in the agreement that w that's been shown to us so far? Uh, it, look, based on what was in the press release, I, I think I would be intended to vote for it. But I, I'm going to reserve the right to change my mind if they do start larding it up with a lot of other things. One I heard on the floor yesterday was ethanol subsidies. And if they're trying to add billions and billions of dollars into that, they start messing around with the estate tax. You know, I, there, there's a breaking point. And, uh, but so I, I want to be optimistic. I think it was done in good faith from both the White House, uh, Leader Boehner and others. Um, but we've got to see a real piece of paper, and we haven't seen that yet. Would you be prepared to sort of vote this down? Uh, I mean, I understand that there may be some things put into it that are unpalatable. Could you vote this thing down? Because if you did, then everybody's taxes go up on January the 1st. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm inclined to vote for it. If it is based on what the press release was, I probably would vote for it. But we got to see a piece of paper, you know. We, we talked a lot earlier in the year about reading the bill. There is no piece of legislation yet, and that's what scares me. And I think until we get to next week, I don't want to be taking a victory lap. And, and, and what the market really needs, Stuart, is, is certainty. We've talked a lot about that. We've talked about it on this show. Until capital sees a secure path, it's yep. not going to make that investment. And that's why we need to get to next week sooner rather than later. Could you just take me through, briefly through the mechanics of this? Let's suppose that this agreement is voted down and everybody's taxes go up on January the 1st. Is it possible that as soon as the new Congress with the Republican majority in the House, as soon as it convenes, it could retroactively put tax rates back to where they were right now? I mean, is that oh, possible mechanically? Yeah. Can that be done? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, like, and I, I know that the House Republicans are committed to doing that. Now, whether or not it could actually pass in the Senate, what the president would ultimately sign on it, there's some that argued, hey, we should wait till the first to first of January anyway, because then we're even in a much more palatable, uh, much more powerful position. But we got to get this done now. Businesses need to move forward. And if we're going to drive down uh, unemployment, businesses need to hire. You don't even know what their tax rates are. It's, it's embarrassing. Okay. All right. We'll have to leave it there, Congressman. But as of right now, this is not a done deal. That's where we have to finish it off. Congressman Jason Chaffetz, Republican, Utah. Thanks for joining us as always, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks, Stuart. Thanks. As any